In this video we're going to take a look at ACSoft Total Video Converter so you can download this from their website AICSoft. Um, you do kind of need to wade through all the different files um, to find the exact right one but um, this is the Total vid Video one and it's unregistered um, I think it's like 35 bucks or something like that but it's not too expensive. Anyway we're going to use this by um, adding on the cars and I definitely want to check and see if it opens up the other files as well but I'm gonna go ahead and get right to compression now um, we can choose different profiles so I'm gonna add four copies of the file because I'm gonna compress them to all four formats and the very first one that I have here is gonna be my VOB MPEG 2 PS so I'll go to op all profiles and then I'm gonna just keep on going down until I find what I need here a lot of different profiles here. Eventually I'm sure we're gonna get somewhere. Alright, here's some MPEG stuff. HD AVI MPEG2 video. So this is the stuff that we're kinda coming to. It's hard to find the right one. Here we go. DVD video optimized for TV. And that's one we want. Right there. Now we might want to check some different settings here. So I'm going to go to the settings for that different one. MPEG 720 by 480. We'll have 7000. Doesn't look like we have the ability to change whether or not it's widescreen or not. So we're going to just have to trust that it is. Our audio bitrate can be the 128. Right now it's at MPEG 2, but we can change it to AC3 if we want. That looks like it's going to do pretty well. It's got our correct settings there. Now the next one, um, we're going to be doing, um, let's see, at MPEG 4. So we might want to go for, wow, there's so many different devices. It's hard to know which one to use. Here's Motorola ones. I figured there'd be an iPod here somewhere. All right, here's 640 by 480. Doesn't really look like we've got the ones that we want, which are the 640 by 360. So I'll just choose one and see if I can go and edit the settings. 640 by 480, change that to 360, and it is 1500 kilobytes per second, um, 30 FPS, change our audio bit rate to 128, so it looks like we were able to pretty much change that to the numbers that we wanted, and that's nice, and we want to be able to do that with the other things that do. Well, let's see, that's the iPod. Let's go to Flash Video. We've got our FLV right here. We'll go to the first one, widely used FLV. We can go to Settings, just take a look at what we've got here. Definitely 30 FPS, we'll use the 1500 kilobytes per second. We'll change this to 640 by 360, so we can change things that the way we want. We can change our bit rate on our audio if we want. So it looks like we're able to uh, configure that the way we want, for sure. Ooh, let's see, our iRiver here is um, an, a WMV file, so I'm sure we can probably edit that as well. So we'll go to Settings. We're going to use Windows Media 9. We're going to change this to 640 by 360. Change that to 1500 kilobytes per second, 30 frames. Encoder for audio, WMA128 or WMA8 with 128 kilobytes per second works great. So no big deal there. Um, looks like everything's there. The only thing that we might want to do is trim our different video. Because right now you can see everything is 19. So I'm going to go to Trim and just take a look at what we can do here. Looks like we can easily trim our video. That looks like that'll trim to 15 seconds. And we can also add some other things like brightness and contrast, which is kind of fun. Oh, So 
hopefully it will apply. Doesn't look like it did it. 60 frames. Looks like it's pretty easy to implement that. Seconds. So it looks like we've got 15 seconds on all of them. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and convert it. So it's saving out my first VOB file. Looks like it's going to be doing some stuff there, giving me some black borders. This looks like it's compressing it just right. And if you notice, the compression of this is going really quick. This is compressing very, very fast. So I'm going to open up the output folder when the conversion is done. And it looks like it converted all my files very quickly and gave me some pretty good um, stuff here. This courtyard, that's an old file that I was playing with, so let's take a look. Whoops. Let me open that with my Media Player Classic. It does indeed open. So it's giving me that file and it looks pretty good. My WMV file. Looks like it is indeed deinterlacing that video correctly, but that worked out pretty well. Before, it's deinterlacing it pretty good, and it's a small file format. Same with the FLV. It's looking a little bit better in this particular um, version. So, with all of these, um, we want to move these, of course, into our AE soft folder so I'll cut them from here go to the correct folder where I've got my files and AE soft um, looks like I'm missing a folder so I'll just create one and put them in there so we've got a lot of video files done we've got our Adobe Media Encoder After Effects I AI C soft any soft which did not too work too well so I don't think I even made you do that one an episode and free HD converter and now you get to go in and look at all the different files and compare um, which software you thought was the most effective and which ones you didn't think were the most effective and how you would compress video in the future so let me know if you have any questions thanks